Hi there, I'm Ashling from Nile Agency and today I'm going to dive into building calculation properties in HubSpot and specifically using the new advanced mode editor for building custom equations. I'll be testing the editor to solve for two business use cases, the first one being to combine values from multiple properties into one property and the second to measure the time it's taking our sales reps to contact new inbound leads. So let's jump into the HubSpot portal and take a look deal properties object here. So I'm going to create a new property, uh, which I'm going to call deal reference ID. Um, so our use case here is we want to pull in information from several deal properties, uh, deal name, deal ID, and deal create date to build this deal reference, which we then are going to show on our quotes um, and share it with our production team. So my field type, I'll select calculation, build my calculation. Um, you have all of the options that we've had previously um, here, but I'm going to stick with custom equation for this use case, and I'm going to activate the advanced mode editor. Uh, and then I have to choose my output type. So here, the syntax that I'm going to need is string. And then basically, you can insert here functions um, in which here, what I want is my concatenate function. And then I'm gonna insert the properties that I am interested in. So deal name. Um, I want my deal ID. So here I actually have to add an additional function um, number to string because um, the deal ID is a number in HubSpot and I need it to be a string in order for my calculation to work here. So here then I'm going to choose the deal ID, my record ID. And again, number to string, I'm going to choose my create date. And basically I can see the builder is telling me that I have no issues, uh, which is a good sign. Um, and I can come down here and test my formula to see what my sample output will look like. So I'm going to put in a test here. and I'll put in a random deal ID. And if I come, we can see this is what the sample output is going to look like. And actually here I realized uh, this is not the format that I'm looking for. Uh, what I want in our case is not just the create date, but actually just the year. Um, so that is another function that we can include is I want the year rather than the whole create date. I'm just going to close my brackets here. And you can see here HubSpot's actually indicating that there's issues and it's giving me um, an indication of what the error is. I can fix it and then again I have my no issues. I can test my sample output and that's the reference that I'm looking for so I'm happy with that. I'll create it. And that way, if we uh, go to one of our deals, we'll see that my deals now have this reference ID that I'm looking for. So we can see here my deal reference ID, which I can then use in other areas in HubSpot. And um, the second property which I want to create is a contact property um, and so the contact property that we are looking here is we want to be able to measure how long uh, our sales reps are taking to contact new leads when they're converting and coming into our CRM. So for this before we can actually create the calculation property I've needed to build a workflow in HubSpot and um, so just to show you quickly um, there isn't a default 
date property for a first sales contact date, um, which I want in order to be able to build my calculation. So I've created a workflow to basically stamp um, this first contact date. Um, so I've based it on the fact that um, the first sales contact is for the moment unknown, but that the last contacted property, which is a property in HubSpot has been updated. So last contacted um, will basically show the last date at which this contact has had a call, email, um, or meeting logged on the contact record. So that will encompass any of the sales activities which we consider um, as eligible for a first sales contact. So once my workflow is in place and I have this property, I can then uh, come back here and build the calculation property, which I'm looking to build. So in this case, it's going to be um, a contact property. And then here, I'm again going to choose my calculation and I'm going to build the calculation again using the advanced mode editor so that we can see how we can use it. Um, I should have said earlier, the uh, functions and syntax here, um, it actually, HubSpot has a very helpful knowledge base article, which basically tells you which functions you can use for what purposes and kind of guides you through it. So I'll attach that um, in the description uh, below the video. So again, here in this case, what we're actually going to have is a number, but it's going to be a duration. So basically I want to see, is it, uh, did this contact wait one day, two day, two weeks for our sales team to contact them? Hopefully not two weeks. Um, and so here I'm going to choose the function time between, um, and then I'm going to insert the two dates, which I'm interested in. So the first one being the, um, first conversion date and the second one being that um, first sales contact date. So no issues apparently and I can just test if I want to check how that's going to look on the contact record. I can come down here and yeah, imagine I have a first conversion date on the 1st of November and the first sales contact date, the 15th of November, I can just test the formula and I can see it took 14 days for a salesperson to contact that um, lead. And uh, using this date, we can then put in place um, maybe some automation or alerts if uh, we go beyond a certain uh, threshold, maybe we want to alert the manager, or maybe this is something we want to track on our KPIs and reporting dashboards. So I hope these two use cases have given you a good intro to using the new advanced editor for custom calculation equations. Uh, it is definitely a little more complex than using the simple editor, but once you get familiar with the syntax, uh, which HubSpot has a very helpful knowledge base article on to get you started, uh, you can definitely go a lot further with the calculation fields that you're building.